Hi, this is Nisha, and we're kind of doing this video to let you know that it's about time for us to take our break again. About every three months, we just need time to relax, recharge our batteries, uh, get to work on some new content, some new ideas, and uh, you know, it's November, there's a lot going on with Thanksgiving and family stuff. So yeah, it seemed like a good time. We have been pretty much putting out videos since August. So, but we're not gonna leave you completely alone as usual. We, we will be putting up some videos from the archives, of course, while we're gone. Also, we just started a new thread, a new post on our Patreon, inviting you to ask questions. And we were going to do a Q&A with that, of course. And we have some pretty interesting things, including maybe an interview or two coming up, so we're going to have that. But looking back, we've really, we've really done quite a few videos for you, and quite a few of them, I think, are pretty unique, or at least only one of a handful on YouTube at the moment. So we thought we would uh, kind of go over what we've covered in the last uh, three months, in the last season for you. And uh, if you haven't, do check out these videos. We'd greatly appreciate it. Or if you have, hey, maybe go watch again. And as always, we do really, really appreciate it when you like our videos, when you share. Of course, if you haven't subscribed, we really appreciate that. And uh, if you really, really want to help the channel, please check out our Patreon page. A buck a month goes a long way. More goes even longer. But for just a dollar or so more... We, uh, we, we do the, the Q&A questions. We also started a thing recently where you can kind of vote on which videos you prefer to see coming up next in the queue. And if you get over, you know, a certain amount, I try to give a little something back if you buy from my store. And if anything interests you, I, I do my best to keep the playlists updated. So, you know, if a general, say, nation like Poland or Russia or Canada or Japan or whatever interest you click on the playlist and see what we've got also we started to revisit the first CNR guns we did years ago but now we're doing it with the new mic and uh, new camera and just new techniques a little more in-depth info so we started looking at the Finnish uh, army and civil guards rifles mainly Mosins of course so we had the, the first little batch of Mosins there Next, we really showed some neat imports from Switzerland, manufactured by Swiss Arms Neuhausen, San, imported by JDI, now known as Swiss Imports, or SAN Imports, still run by, by Dave down in Frisco, Texas, and he brought us a lot of neat stuff this summer. Obviously, the most anticipated was the SG550P, a pistol version of the STGW-90, Switzerland's current issue infantry rifle, 21 inch barrel, green furniture, steel lower, classic diopter sights. We also had some neat kind of interesting variants. We had 553s in so-called heavy metal and flat dark earth. And they did those with either an 8.9 or an 11.9 inch barrel and it was threaded half by 28 so you could attach a suppressor or a device or even an extension as I did to make it into a carbine so yeah and some really neat stuff and those had rails instead of doctors for more modern sighting systems another really neat one we showed this summer and it was in a few different videos kind of a preview and then in a full more review was uh, something that almost happened before the sanctions against Molot, that was the Molot FM RPK-74. They also do a 47 version. And that would have been imported by Fime Group, a sister company to Arsenal. As it is, only a few made it in, and they've been selling them off kind of slowly this year. And yeah, they've been going for pretty nuts prices. But, I mean, these are the only true X-39 caliber RPK modern type guns to be 100% Russian ever in the country so you know it is what it is now we have another new gun that just came out when we did the video the Brownells BR-10A which was a copy 
of a Sudanese contract Armalite AR-10, although some have said it's closer to Cuban. I'm not going to argue that. They, they are right. Either way, a neat gun in 308 7.62 NATO. And uh, we've had good luck out of it, but we're waiting to do another video when some new parts hopefully get in from Rhinels. They've got some pretty exciting stuff. It's small but important, so we're hoping to show that when we come back. Another interesting gun, we have the G36 semi-auto built from an original G36E infantry rifle by Michael's Machines using a Tommy built, Tom Bostic, re-welded original HK receiver. This is really cool. And we've shown it in a few different videos. And it's just, it's one of those guns that's greater than the sum of its parts. It shouldn't be as fun or as interesting as it really is. But it just works out. And also, uh, Military Arms Channel saw our video and uh, liked it. And we ended up working a deal where he could get one. Because these aren't cheap and they only did about 20. But I was happy to, to help Tim out over there. And uh, I actually, as I'm recording this today, spoke with him this morning about it. And he still is having a lot of good fun out of the G36. So hopefully when the time this video comes out, he's still reporting that. Kind of going old school again, we have a little video, not a big one, kind of an update to some previous videos we did on this. It looks at some of the more interesting variants in the Springfield 03 family. First we look at the M1903 Mark I, the one that was cut for the Pedersen device. Very interesting piece of World War I history. Othias at CN Arsenal does a great job of covering it, and as has done uh, Ian at Forgotten Weapons. Then we move on to the 1903A1, which was basically just the same gun, but with a pistol grip stock, adopted in the 1930s for more of a target role. And the stock is kind of shaped like an M1 Grand stock, so it's kind of interesting. Next we move on to something really neat. It was something that no one expected to come in. The CZ Bren 2S pistol. And we have two and soon to be three videos coming up on this. We look at the 8-inch and the 11-inch, and we will very soon look at the 14-inch versions in 5.56. Sorry, we're just more interested in 5.56 over the 7.6239, although we really want to see the 7.62 NATO. Yeah, I, I think the videos speak for themselves. You know how much we like the CZ805 Bren, and that's why we even did a video comparing these two. So check those out to see what we think of this kind of all-new Bren 2. And is it worth the current pretty darn high price point? And then we get into some new stuff from WBP. Earlier in the year, we looked at the WBP Lynx Classic Pistol, the first complete firearm from that company in Poland. And then we looked at the Lynx Tactical, which was a modernized version with more pick rail and a threaded barrel and extended controls. We did that a, a, about a month ago. And just recently, we were finally able to talk about and announce the first rifle from WBP, the Fox. And in our video, we show one as imported, complete with original mag whale and thermal stock. Then we show one converted into kind of a Bereal M762 clone. I... I Probably most of you have looked at the video, but if you didn't go all the way through it, I know it's a little long, it's about 16, 17 minutes, do go ahead and check it out. We tried to put as much info as we could in there, and, you know, we're, we're big Polish fans around here, and we've had some time to test this rifle, and just this uh, last weekend we shot even more rounds through it, and so far, honest to goodness, so good. We haven't had issues. If we do, we will report them, but so far, it's just been a great gun. And just because we haven't done Japanese in a while, and I love Japanese guns, we do a little video looking at Japanese bayonets, specifically the Type 30. We look at an early hooked quillion with a polished blade, then we look at a mid-production with a blued blade and a straight grouse guard, and then we look at a couple of so-called last-ditch bayonets with a very simplified blade and bamboo scabbards, believe it or not. Not even metal. And here's another Patreon choice we look at a couple of swedish guns from world war ii the m38 mauser short rifle obviously it's a bolt action this one's made by carl gustav these are also made by husqvarna 
And then we look at a very interesting self-loading rifle from Sweden, the AG-42, often known as the Lungman. And uh, yeah, just check it out for some really interesting and kind of forgotten history on that. But uh, very neat gun. Just make sure you know where your fingers are at or you may be missing a couple of digits. The Romanian PSL. In this vid, we really talk about the military history, then the history of the semi-auto, and then we show off my FPK Dragunov, and it is Mark Dragunov, so don't get mad at me. We take it apart, look at some features, and then we take it to the range, and you get a commentary from Jay on accuracy, what you can and can't expect. When we recorded this video, the new import batch wasn't in yet. Now they just came in, but they're two grand. So is the PSL worth $2,000? Definitely check this video out if you're unsure. So that's what we got up to. I mean, that was a long list, and that, that was just me pretty much giving a synopsis. So, guys, we really try hard to bring you interesting stuff. So every bit of support we get is greatly appreciated. We don't do advertising. We do Patreon now because you asked for it, and uh, we're very pleased to do it, but we didn't want to force ourselves on anyone. So Patreon's how we do stuff. Otherwise, we just do it for the, for the love and to share things we really care about. As I said at the beginning, while we're gone, we're going to be putting out a video here and there, but not at the regular every every one to two days like we usually do. We'll probably put out about two a week. So what you have to look forward to from the archives while we're gone, we're going to have a couple more Japanese videos, just kind of little looks at this and that. So, you know, if you're interested in Japanese, look for those. We're going to have... A number of more Argentinian military videos, um, different types there. We're going to finish up with the Finnish rifles series. We just put out part three on the M39, and uh, we've got another part or two to go, so that'll probably go out while we're on vacation. We're also going to put out the final part to the Carcano series. We apologize that it's been a little long in coming, but there's been a lot happening that needed to get out. And we might have a few little bits and bobs. Might have an AR video for you and maybe a, another uh, Swiss video because who doesn't like Swiss videos, right, folks? So, um, yeah, that's what we've got kind of planned. We will be back soon. And again, any questions, put them in our Q&A thread and we will get to them. And we'll be back as quick as we can. Uh, we, we definitely are coming back. We just need time to, to, to rest and go to sleep. Rest. Rest. Rest.